Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is laundry day and I thought you might want to come along. I am starting in the bedroom. I have to do sheets. My husband has dust and dust my allergies. So I do his sheets once a week and I go ahead and do mine as well. As you'll notice as I pull off his sheets, he has allergy covers on his pillow that he sleeps on and on his mattress. This just gives him a little added protection that his doctor suggested would be a good thing because his allergies are really bad. So, and honestly, doing sheets is not my favorite thing, but you know, when your loved one has allergies, that's what you do. So I'm just going to take them off real fast. I'm going to speed it up here in just a second so you don't have to watch me the whole time. And yes, I'm talking to the camera because I thought I had the sound on, but I didn't. So I had to do a voiceover. And any minute, I'm going to get real fast with this. And, well, I will get fast with this. I thought I sped it up. I did speed it up. Why isn't? Oh, there it goes. I also wash any other blankets. Okay, so now I have the spray that his doctor also recommended. It's just an allergen spray. I spray it really heavy on his mattress and the two pillows. And then it dries while the sheets are in the wash. It's really good. I can't remember where we got it from, but I will put the name down below. And you can... Um, look for it. I will also ask my husband if he remembers where he got it. I want to say Amazon. It's where everything we get comes from, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. So anyway, I'm going to keep spraying this because it needs to be just really good and covered. Okay, now we're out in the garage. This is where my laundry is. And yes, I'm still talking to the camera with no sound. So I'm not crazy. I just didn't realize the microphone went on. So what I'm telling you, though, is when I put my sheets in my washing machine, I always make sure there's no knots. I shake them out because when I put them in my washer, I want them to be spaced evenly and not to one side because when you put sheets in and they get wet, they get heavy. If they go to one side, your drum inside your washing machine gets off balance and it makes a noise it can damage your machine so I, I, I'm always super careful about that also when you're doing your sheets or anything please make sure you select the proper water levels because washing a small load of sheets or clothes in a high water wash does nothing but waste water and that's not a good thing also be sure you're selecting the correct temperature you know that's a preference, but definitely make sure your water levels are correct. So I got my sheets in, and now I'm about to uh, sort the laundry out. And I sort my laundry into basically three piles. I do dark clothes, light clothes, and towels, underwear, and socks. However, I do my underwear and or my panties and my bras in the delicate cycle. My husband's goes with the towels because... You know, guys are not delicate. Sorry. So I'm doing that and I'm still talking away to you. But next time I'll make sure I put the microphone on. Uh, we have three colors towel in my home. That way I know whose they are. Pink is mine. Blue is my husband. And brown are my dogs. My dogs also have allergies and they get washed twice a week. So anyway, I'm about to do this way faster. I wish I could do this in real life, too. It would make laundry a lot better. So as I go through this super fast, I am still talking away to you. Okay, so I am done, and I'm about to start. Well, I'm almost done, trust me. And once I get everything in the... Um, washer and the dryer. My dryer is actually not going at this time. Once I get everything in the washer and dryer, I start them at the same time, but that's just the sheets. That's the first load. So there's nothing in the dryer. Okay. So I will be back when the sheets are done and yeah, we'll just wait. Okay. The sheets are done now. And yes, I'm shaking sheets again because when I put them in my dryer, I don't want them balled up 
in knots because then my dryer has to work twice as long. I want to be as energy efficient as possible. Okay, now I'm loading in towels and I actually load my towels in very carefully too to make sure they stay balanced as well. And then I will start the dryer and the washing machine at the time, same time because I like them to finish pretty close together. Sheets are dry. I'm going to throw them in the laundry basket, but lo and behold, the towels weren't dry yet, but now they just finished. But what I was telling you is, don't put your arm in that washing machine if that drum is still spinning. Believe it or not, a few years ago, I know, so, I know someone who stuck their arm in a washing machine drum while it was spinning down. It was finishing and broke their arm. So always wait until the inside of your washing machine stops completely if your door does not lock, mine will stay locked until it is totally off. So, and again, you see me shaking towels, shaking socks, shaking everything, because honestly, I don't want my dryer to have to work any harder than it is already. So I tend to shake everything, especially heavy things like socks, towels, t-shirts, etc. I just don't like my dryer to have to work any harder than it already works for me. Now I'm just going to speed up and do this really fast. Wish I could go that fast. And I am putting the dryer sheet in because even though my husband has asthma and I have migraines, I hate static and the dryer sheets I use are not very strong smelling so they don't trigger either one of us. Okay, we are back and watch clean clothes. They just fall out. And now I am throwing in the light clothes that I will dry. I do not always dry my delicates. I, I think hanging them up saves their life, saves their color. So, and here I am. If you notice, I didn't start the delicates. Uh, the light delicates when I put them in. I didn't have a full dryer load, so I waited on these dark ones. So I'm getting the dark ones now separated, and I'm going to hang up the ones that I hang up, and then I'll start the dryer after that. And again, I only hang up, I don't hang up the good clothes, quote unquote, like nice shirts and stuff, because I think not drying them saves their life. It prevents them from fading it prevents the fabric from wearing so I'm real big on hanging up a lot of stuff so later on when we go to make the beds again if you look in the mirrors you'll probably see my clothes hanging in the mirrors in the background in the bathroom again the dryer sheet I hate static and now I am going to put the blankets in the washing machine and like I said I wash all blankets in the bedroom this is the one that my husband had on his bed because of the dog throwing up and if you notice I am carefully placing it inside the washing machine tub because I don't want it to be lopsided I want it to be in there balanced so my washing machine does not jump around I do the same thing with the little blue one there only it's smaller so it doesn't quite proportion itself as good around the drum but it's still okay as long as the big brown one is proportioned correctly then appropriate amount of soap choose appropriate amount of water, wash cycle, and we're good to go. I don't want to wa waste anything because that's just like who I am if you hadn't figured that out by now. So I have no idea. Oh, I'm playing with the wash cycles and stuff. <laughs> Trying to decide what I want to do. Okay. Okay. Now we're done. I'm going to get the clothes. I'm going to start the dryer and in I go. Bye. Okay, now we're back inside and it's time to put the sheets on. There's my avocado white sheets that I just took off and washed. And those are going to be folded and not put back on. I'm going to put the pink ones on my bed. First, I'm going to lay my husband's bed down because again, he has a bed that lifts up. And I have to have it flat to put the sheets on. So I'm going to put all of his sheets on. And I try to do this where there is not a wrinkle left in them. He doesn't really care, which honestly drives me nuts. But whatever, it's his bed. So I put them on, like I said, is I wish I could go this fast, honestly. 
I put them on, and then I have to go get his blanket. There's his original blanket. I had already washed it, and it was uh, in his office. There's his gel pillow. It's a cooling pillow that I got him for Christmas. And there's his other pillow, and then there's me doing my little bed. Now, I will get every wrinkle off of those sheets before I blankets everything because I can't stand wrinkles. And now it's time to fold the clothes. And just to show you how I fold my towels, I fold them in half, then in half again, then in thirds. This just saves us room and works for the space we have to put them. Then socks, like you really care how I fold my socks, but I pair them, but those don't go. I pair them up here, pair them together, fold them over, and there you go. So in just a second, I'm going to show you how I fold up sheets. Okay, here we go. Pillowcase, same way as towel. Fold in half, in half thirds. There you go. Same way with the sheet you cover with. In half, in half, and then half, and then half, then thirds. Now, the corner sheet, I'm not even going to try to walk you through this. I tried earlier, and I messed up this voiceover so bad that I thought I would just say... Watch it, and if you can figure out what I did, good. They don't come out the same way every time. As long as they come out halfway small because the space they go in is small, that works for me. I'm really not too picky when it comes to them. Honestly, I would just throw them in a ball and throw them somewhere if I had the space, but I don't. So I make an effort to fold them, and this one actually did not come out very terrible. That's it. Bye.